Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, but growing up, kids can be jerks. Um, so even though someone as beautiful as Rebecca Marine uh, was going to school, kids gave her a hard time uh, just because she was missing a portion of her right forearm. Um, Rebecca was born without it, and after a while, she decided, you know what? I'm going to turn all this negativity into positivity and entered the world of fashion modeling and inspirational speaking. Uh, she's joining us today. Thank you so much for coming on Thanks set. Thanks for having me. Hey, Rebecca, good to have you here. Thank you. So tell us your story. What, uh, what was it like? What sparked the idea to get into fashion? Um, well, a couple of years ago, about when I was 22, I'm 27 now, and a friend mentioned to me that I should model a prosthetic arm and be like a spokesperson for it. So that kind of prompted the idea of it. And I just did a photo shoot with it and it kind of took off from there. Everybody was yeah. like, oh my God, like this is such a cool idea. And eventually, uh, as the years went on, I took the prosthetic arm off and I became this, I guess, motivational speaker. I never thought about speaking ever in my life. And then here I am now. How did you overcome it? Well, I was really, really insecure growing up. I was, I always hid my arm in like the pockets of my hoodies and things like that. So I think it, it's more of an inspiration for myself than anything because I've learned to overcome something that I was so afraid of. But Rebecca, you went into modeling, which is the, <laughs> the most cutthroat, yeah. toughest, <laughs> you know, field out there. Yeah. I mean, body image is everything. Right. Um, so what gave you the courage to go, why that field? It was such a huge challenge for me, I think, to go into something that I feared the most is my body image. And I've always wanted to model as a kid. I loved getting dressed up and doing makeup and things like that. But I never thought that anyone would ever take me seriously because I was different so it, it was a big challenge for me I'm just happy that I made that decision yeah. like for the record Lamarca doing a story chasing models is not that unusual just kind <laughs> right. of putting right. that out there um, no. but in looking at the industry Seville pointed out it's such a cutthroat industry now um, now that you're in it uh, being unique or being different has it helped your career or is it it's still a challenge I think the one thing and it's funny because I think the real disability I have is my height and that's always been a big, because I'm only 5'2", so, um, so that's the biggest issue that I have in this industry. It's not so much my arm anymore. A lot of people are starting to embrace like plus size models and just models who look different. You're working with the Lucky Thin Project. Well, ex explain what goes on with that. So I work with Models of Diversity, and I also work with the Lucky Thin Project, which is an organization that supports people with upper limb differences. So um, I just recently was named ambassador along three other people uh, for the Lucky Finn Project. And it's such a great organization. I always go out to camps all over the country and speak to kids and just hang out. Rebecca, thanks for coming on. Thank Merry you Christmas. so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh.